What is going on my dudes and dudettes? It's Sean here with Ashna Serpentarium. It's outside today right now as you can see. It's an absolutely gorgeous day. Really, really nice day. Um, and I thought today we could talk about the spider gene. So stay tuned. So the spider gene then guys. Um, a lot of you will probably have heard about it. It's getting a lot of controversy at the moment. Which I think is well deserved. It's... um. It's a really controversial topic, so <clears throat> if you're gonna get upset by uh, anything I say in this video, um, try not to. <laughs> I haven't got any any other advice really for you. Just just try not to. Um, listen to everything I've got to say. If you've got your own opinion on it, fine. Just let me know in the comments below, and we can have a little discussion about it. But let's just get straight into it. So the spider gene then guys, it's, uh, it's one of them genes that um, it's got a neuro neurological problem. And what that means then is um, linked to all spiders, all spiders carry this neurological problem. Um, and it's called a head wobble if you haven't heard of it before. And what that basically does is it makes the, uh, the head sort of twist around in funny ways and corkscrew a lot. Um, and it can uh, it can be quite detrimental to your snake's actual health. I've personally seen um, a spider, uh, male. It was um, three years old and only 150 grams because it never taken to feeding. Um, it strike a miss and then it give up. So it was it had to be assist fed every single week, um, and it wouldn't always assist feed either. So it is quite a serious neurological problem. It can be really, really detrimental to your snake's health. I don't keep any spiders here to show you. Um, I'm, I'm against them. I, I wouldn't ever own another spider. I have in the past, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, but that was when I didn't really know any better. I did know about the, he the head wobble, but I didn't really realize how serious it was. And a lot of that actually did come from People on YouTube like Brian Barchak and, and stuff like that sort of downplaying how bad the spider wobble actually is um, when the reality of it is it, it you know it isn't great to um, to breed spiders. So spider and spider is actually a lethal combination. Um, it's one of uh, one of a few lethal combinations. So if you do breed spider to spider, uh, a lot of them won't hatch. Um, you might get one or two hatch that that uh, you know just single gene spiders, but quite a few won't hatch. Uh, super spider is is impossible. Um, from what I from what I know, it's a lethal lethal combination, and that sort of. Uh, proves my point to an extent really of how serious the spider gene is um, there are examples of um, of spiders that are not uh, they don't have as much of a problem with the head wobble um, lots of them about the way you can barely see that they've got any issue but the trouble is is they do have the issue and just because they are not that bad doesn't mean that their offspring won't be that bad. You can't, it doesn't seem like we can outbreed it. Um, so it is it's permanently going to be linked to the head wobble. And it doesn't seem like there's any way at all to, um, to stop it. If there was a way to stop it and we could breed it out, we probably would have done it by now. Or at least started to do it. But the problem seems to just be the same as what it was before. So um, that's why the sort of IHS and stuff like that, the shows in, in the UK, have banned them, uh, banned the sales of spiders in their shows, which I think is absolutely fine. It's their show, they can do what they want. Um, everyone's got a different code of ethics. Um, a lot of people are coming out and sort of. Um, you know saying their opinion on it and that's fine um, I personally don't believe in breeding them um, I know a lot of other people think otherwise right like Brian Barchak and uh, balls to you which is fine that's up to them um, I can see where people are coming from saying they, they just want in the money which yeah you know I can see that point of view I'm not saying that's the case 
um i don't know i'm not i don't have the inside scoop on that i've got no proof to say they're in here just for the money but if you think that then i can see your point completely um and there's uh there's no real way to prove or disprove that at this stage in time the people that do breed spiders are just in it for the money i'm this isn't going to be you know me sort of doing a uh, witch hunt on um on people that breed spiders that's not going to get us anywhere guys what will get us somewhere is if people stop buying the spiders if people stop buying them people are not going to breed them anymore if they're in it for the money or not and that will stop the problem whether you want a uh, a nice looking ball python for a pet or for a breeding project there's really no need to have a snake that's got a neurological problem um to breed or for a pet uh if you want to get one as a pet fine um but why <laughs> what well, why you know there are plenty of other nice morphs out there many many morphs nicer than spiders and they don't have the neurological problem so why why get one with the neurological problem it just doesn't make a lot of sense to me obviously you can do what you like it's, it's completely up to you who am i to tell you what you can and can't do i know certainly no one's going to tell me what i can and can't do um but why <laughs> basically you know uh, but anyway, uh, that, that's that on that little side tangent there. Um, and we'll just talk further about the issues that spiders actually have. So spiders, they, um, they can't uh, differentiate between up and down for whatever reason. They seem to have this poor coordination, um, especially when striking food. Um, and it, it doesn't seem like that serious of a problem, but the extreme examples you can find online of the spider morph, it really is serious. Um, obviously, not every every spider is a serious morph, but they, they are a serious issue. But they, they, they do have... Um, there's not much else I can say about this uh, this topic really, I've, I've said my two cents on it, I've got it off my chest. This was a requested video so I'm happy that I've done it, but there's not much else I can really say on it. So thanks for watching anyway guys, um, if you're new around here make sure you subscribe, smash that notifications bell. Destroy that like button, comment down below what your thoughts are on the spider gene and I will see you in the next one. Thanks guys.